Famished Foxes and Fosdyke by Pamela Duncan Edwards, illustrated by Henry Cole. How many objects beginning with the letter F can you find drawn in this book? We counted at least 60. Can you do better? Once down a foxhole lived a family of fox kits. There was Frank, there was Floyd, there was Freddie and Flo. Fosdyke made five. Farewell, cried their fox mom. I'm off for five days in Florida. I feel you can now find food for yourselves. What fun, cried Frank. We'll filch fowl from the farmyard. We're fierce, we're fearless, agreed Floyd, Fred, and Flo. Frankly, said Fosdyke, I'm rather fond of French food. Flipperty gibbet, yelled Flo. What a fool, added Frank. What a failure to foxhood, the ferocious four cried. Fiddlesticks, said Fosdyke, as he flambeed some fungi. A fox is a fox, whatever the food. February 4th, 4.15 a.m. The moon shone like a floodlight as with furtive footsteps they crossed the field toward the farmyard. But oh, what a fracas faced the flabbergasted felons. The fowl were forewarned and began to fight back. Four frantic foxes fled to their foxhole to escape from the fray. I'm fainting, gasped Frank. I'm famished, whispered Flo. How did those feather-brained fowl know we were near? Don't tell Fosdyke, fussed Fred, or he'll know we have failed. Fosdyke was frosting a flan of fresh fruit. F fun hunting, he asked. Fantastic, they fibbed. February 4th, 4.45 a.m. The moon's light forged a path through the ferns to the farmyard cried Frank. Follow me. From the fight will not flinch. We are four fearsome foxes. Those fowl are just finks. But Fergus, the foxhound, soon finished their flim flam as four fox tails lost fangfuls of fur. Flee! barked Fred to his frightened family. They flew from the farmyard as fast as they could. I'm fainting, gasped Frank. I'm famished, whispered Flo. How did those feather-brained fowl know we were near? Don't tell Fosdyke, fussed Fred, or he'll know we have failed. Fosdyke was flavoring fritters with a dressing of fiddleheads. Fun hunting, he asked. Fantastic, they fibbed. The four little foxes were flustered and fretful said Fosdyke. I'll make some French fries for you. <laughs> Fathead, screamed Flo. We're foxes, flesh eaters. We don't eat French fries. I do, flipped Fosdyke, and also French toast. February 4th, 5.15 a.m. Fingers of moonlight fell on the foxes as they flitted once more toward the farmyard. Suddenly, up flashed the figure of the furious farmer. Fiends! He fumed with a fierce frown. Blank, Frank flinched. Fred floundered. Flo fell flat on her face. In a frantic frenzy, the four of them fled. Fosdyke was frying a pan of fresh figs. Fun hunting? He asked, flinging in fennel to taste. We're famished, they howled. We're fed up, they cried. We're finished with farmyards. We've got to find food. Fabulous, said Fosdyke, for I've made quite a feast. First class food, said Frank. All my favorites, fawned Floyd. What? Fascinating flavors, cried Freddie and Flo. But, fretted Frank, we're still failures and fakes. How did those flapdoodles figure out we were near? 
said Fosdyke. I feel I must tell you, it's foolish to forage when there's a full moon. In a flash, the foxes faced up to their folly. Why, funny old Fosdyke, the four of them cried. How foxy of you to fathom that out. Furthermore, said Fosdyke, tomorrow's going to be foggy. I fancy you'll find that's a fine time to set forth. But in case fate's against you, I'll be fixing a fondue and I'll make it a feast big enough to feed five. February 5th, 5, 15 a.m. For a fox is a fox, whatever the food. The end.